tonight police are still working to document the intersection where this all took place behind me you can see the various evidence markers that are here on the scene those number the different pieces of evidence including shell casings from where those shots were fired witnesses tell us those shots rang out without warning but police say they were faced with a potentially dangerous man Boom, 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 Nine, boom. Witnesses say the shots rang out one after another as police fired at what turned out to be an unarmed man on Utica Avenue in Crown Heights Wednesday afternoon. Initially, police say it was several 911 calls that prompted their response around 445. All three calls say he is holding an object that appears to be a gun. They're not sure, but it appears to be a gun. One of the calls says it appears like he's trying to fire that gun at the people on the street. Police say they spotted the man Matching that description, then 10 rounds were fired between four officers at the suspect, who they say appeared to take a menacing position. The suspect then took a two handed shooting stance and pointed an object at the approaching officers, two of whom were in uniform. This is a photo that we took from across the street seconds before the officers discharged with the man in a stance pointing in the direction of where the officers were coming from. Witnesses say there was no warning from police. They didn't say freeze, hands Gun up, force. drop your gun, none, none of that, none of that. They didn't say nothing. All they did was start shooting. The man now identified as 31-year-old Shaheed Vassal was rushed to Kings County Hospital after he'd been shot, but he was pronounced dead. Police say no gun was recovered. Instead, they say Vassal was holding this metal object that appeared to be a pipe with a knob on the end of it. Shattered glass from a store window and evidence markers on the ground spell out where the fatal shots were fired. After the shooting, witnesses turned their anger towards the NYPD, calling the incident murder. Residents say the victim is well known in the neighborhood. They claim he has mental health problems, but say he wouldn't hurt anyone. People know him as a neighborhood guy. Just is just walking around saying, hi. I want to go to church with you. Can I sweep? Can I clean up for you? That's the kind of guy he was. Harmless, harmless, totally harmless. This was not an EDP call. This was not an emotionally disturbed call. This was a call of a man pointing what 911 calls and people felt was a gun at people on the street. And police say they are still in the very early stages of this investigation tonight. They have not released the names of the officers involved. Reporting live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.